Welcome to NICE Real-Time Designer How-To Videos. In this video, we will demonstrate how to read from Excel using databases. Reading from Excel is used in most automations. Doing it using databases ensures a very quick way of accessing large amounts of data in an Excel file or writing data into it just as quickly. To enable the Real-Time Designer's access to Excel via database functions, we first need to configure a DSN in Windows ODBC. Here's how we do it. Go to the Windows Start menu and type ODBC. Add a driver to support Excel files. Make sure it has the correct Excel file extensions. If your machine only has a driver for older Excel versions, but you need a newer one, go to the Microsoft website and download accessdatabaseengine.exe. Download the 32-bit version. To install it, open CMD and type the file's full name, path included, slash passive. Click Finish and type a name for your database in the Select Data Name box in your ODBC setup. Select the file you're going to connect to. Make sure to untick the Read Only box. After you're done with the setup, go back to the Designer. In the Physical Objects tab, under Database, click Add New Connection. Now we need to specify the data source. Click Local Connection, and then in the Connection tab, select ODBC as your database provider. In the Use Connection string box, click Build to insert the path where the ODBC file you're connecting to is located. Go to the Machine Data Source tab and select the database you've created earlier. Click OK and you'll see the Select Workbook window again. Now select your Excel file and make sure the Read Only box is not checked. In the Login information, type Admin. This is the default password the database uses. Click Test to check the connection to the file. Test completed successfully in the Messages pane will confirm that the file was successfully reached. Next, we can read from the file to see the items in it. Click Add Table in the Database tab. In the Query tab, write the SQL code to read from the file. To read everything, type SELECT, asterisk, and your sheet name as it appears in the file, followed by a dollar sign, in square brackets. Note that this is case sensitive. To specify the data you'd like to select from the file, for example, where the ID begins with 1, you can use SQL scripting in the Real-Time Designer. You can set different SQL condition for the data you're retrieving from the file. Now, let's store the data from the file in a way you can use. Create a new business entity type. Go to the Business Entities tab, Types, click New Type, and give it a meaningful name. Next, create a variable to store the data you'll read from the file. Click New Property and give it a meaningful name, according to the name of the column in the Excel file that you're reading from. Repeat the process for all the columns you'd like to read from in the file. Now click the type you've created and click Create List. To later use the type as a library object, right-click the type you've created and select Create an instance of it. Create a function to populate this type by clicking New Function and giving it a meaningful name. Now let's define the function. Click Insert Instruction and then Function Invocation. Select Function, Data Connections, and New Local Connection. Go to New Data Table and Load for Update. In the window that will pop up, select the business entity to fill. Click the drop-down box, then Business Entities, and then the list you've created. Link the properties from the list to the properties in the DB. Click the DB column drop-down box and choose the header of the column in the Excel file that corresponds to each column you created. To make sure your numeral columns are read by the designer, click the column you've created and make sure its property type is decimal. 
Now you can relate these columns as well to the file. Next, to be able to run the function we created, let's also create a new event handler. Go to the Business Logic tab and click New Event Handler. In the When the Following Event is Raised box, click the box and select Library Objects, Administration, and then Solution Loaded. Next, click Insert Instruction and Function Invocation. Then, click Select Function, Library Objects, the type you've created before, and the function you've created within the type. Here's a summary of what we've reviewed in this lesson. Now that you know how to read from Excel using databases, you can quickly scan large files for data to make your automations even more comprehensive. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more short how-to videos about the nice real-time designers functions.